Welcome back to Math Wizard Tutor. Today's video is about solving quadratic equations by completing the square. In a previous video, we learned about solving quadratic equations by factoring. So in factoring, we look at the last term and take its factors. x squared plus 6x minus 5 is equal to 0. We have negative 5. The factors are 1 and 5. So it might be negative 5 and 1 or negative 1 and 5 that is unlikely to become positive sets. So in this case, we cannot apply factoring, but instead we will be applying the completing the square in order for us to find the values of our solutions. So the first thing to do here is to move our negative 5 to the right side of the equation. So our constant moving to the right side will become positive 5. After which, we are going to bring down x squared plus 6x. We need to complete this term with a perfect square. So we create a blank here for the third term that is a perfect square. And we will do the same thing on the right side plus the number that we are going to find out. To get our third term here is we are going to take the half of our b. So here is b divided by 2 and we square it. So our b there is 6 divided by 2 and make it a square. So you have 6 divided by 2 is 3, then 3 squared is equal to 9. Therefore, our third term for a perfect square term is 9. So you add 9 on the left side, you add 9 also on the right side. The next step to do is to find out the root of our x squared of our first term and that is x and the square root of our 9 that is 3. Since 6 is positive therefore it must be plus here. Then put a square on it and that is equal to 9 plus 5 is equal to 14. Since you have now quantity x plus 3 squared, we are going to remove the square symbol on the left side and we are going also to move it to the right side. So how to do that is to get the square root of x squared plus 3 squared then get the square root of 14. So we know that square root symbol and the squared is now equal to 1. So what remains in your left side is x plus 3 is equal to the square root of 14. 14 is not the perfect square. So we can just place positive or negative square root of 14. Okay. Next, we move the positive 3 from the left side to the right. So now x will become the value of positive negative square root of 14 minus 3. So if you want to get your x sub 1, your x sub 1 will become positive square root of 14 minus 3. And x sub 2 is equal to negative square root of 14 minus 3. For our second example, we have x squared minus 4x plus 2 equals 0. So move your 2 to the right side. So it gives you negative 2 and you need to make a space on your left side for your perfect square. So you have plus blank and plus also to the right side. Get the half of b, then you square it. So the half of b, our b is negative 4 divided by 2 squared. So you have negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is equal to 4. So this is plus 4 on your left side, plus 4 on your right side. Then get the root of your first term x squared, that is x. Then the root of your 4, that is 2. 4 x here is minus, so you have minus also in your uh, binomial sign. So 
your factors must be x minus 2 squared or x minus 2 times x minus 2 and that is equal to positive 2 after which get the square root of each term so you have to get the square root of x squared minus 2 squared and square root of 2 so this one is cancelled the square root and the square symbol so what's left here is x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of 2 then after which move your negative 2 to the right side so x will become plus or minus the square root of 2 plus 2 so your x sub 1 is equal to the value of positive square root of 2 plus 2 and your x sub 2 and negative square root of 2 plus 2 okay i hope you can follow today's tutorial so i have here an activity for you solve the following quadratic equations by completing the square so please take your time you may drop your answers in the comment section below thank you for watching Thank you.